a white pickup truck slowly makes its way through the city of Sacramento as police follow carefully. Red, red light at uh, Earnhardt, coming up to continue. The late Tuesday afternoon slow speed chase seen from Live Copter 3 started after a traffic stop at close to 4 o'clock, Sacramento police say, for a man wanted for assault with a deadly weapon and kidnapping. That man, the passenger in the truck, was involved in a domestic violence incident earlier that morning in the 5500 block of Cabrillo Way. The victim suffered a non-life threatening injury from a knife. I confirm there's two males inside the truck, possibly a third subject in the rear extended cap portion of the vehicle. In the back seat, a 13 year old girl, police already fearing what this might become. If you're okay with it, just an idea to get, maybe get some Bearcat trained operators to get uh, that going. Get started towards that, get that equipment in play. Uh, if this goes barricade. The chase came to an end on Mellow Court, where things took a dramatic turn. Uh, males out holding the female. Not his hand appears he may be holding a gun to her side, backing up the driveway. Police say the man chose this home at random, went inside, and barricaded himself for hours, taking a total of eight people hostage. Sacramento police say six of the hostages were released overnight before the girl and a woman managed to escape. It's ultimately a hor heroic act on her behalf, where she saw that opportunity and she took it, and she was able to escape with that 13 year old victim safely, unharmed, and get away from the suspect. Police provided few details of what it took to get the man to surrender, but noted the importance of the situation coming to an end with none of the hostages hurt. A lot of those tactical things I can't speak on just because it's the tactics that the SWAT use, but our SWAT and our crisis negotiation team are very well trained, and these are some of the things that we do to try to bring this incident to a peaceful resolution. Police today continued their investigation as neighbors finally returned to their homes.